We have done one light setup, so we have taught you how to modify those setups, and now it's time for two light setups. So let's get right to it. Hello, I'm Noah from Anything Cameras, the channel that focuses on helping you, yes you, Chad, improve your filming and photography. As I said, two light setups. We are already at our first setup, which is having just a key and a fill. This is a pretty simple setup. Right now I have the key acting as a Rembrandt on my face and you can see that if I take this fill light away. And if you don't know what Rembrandt is, check the video in the cards above about the one light setup. The key I just have in a small-ish Octobox. Um, normally I would have it in a bigger one, but for the sake of space in our current setup, I just went with a small one. And then I have a rectangular softbox here acting as the fill. This is a slightly dimmer bulb and is slightly farther away from me. And so that just fills in this side of my face. Let's get to our second setup. Okay, as you can now see, I have turned off the fill and turned on my kicker light. And because there is no fill on this side of my face now, I'm going to move this key light around to act as more of a loop light filling in this side of my face more. This light back here is just a $50 Yongnuo YN216. Um, and it's slightly magenta shifted compared to our key and our fill light, lights rather, but it gets the job done. And I just have that below me shining up and a little bit diagonally just because of our next light setup, which has a light uh, directly behind me. Before I go any further and I explain why I have this green RGB light shining on my face, don't worry, it won't actually be, sh be shining on my face, I just want to ask you guys to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified every time we post a video. As you can now see, we have turned off the kicker light for our third setup and put an RGB light on the backdrop. Now, it doesn't have to be RGB. It doesn't even have to be an expensive RGB. This is just a $15 RGB light meant for like DJs and cheap concerts and whatnot. And something like the YN216 would work very well if you just wanted um, a neutral color like spot on the uh, backdrop. Again though, it is slightly magenta shifted from our other lights, so that may be something you want to keep in mind. You'll probably want uh, lights of the same brand or of a very high CRI something of that sort. Again, to fill in this side of my face a little bit more, I want the key light as a loop light or a butterfly light versus a Rembrandt sp split light or broad light, but that's a pretty simple setup. For our fourth two light setup, I have put the fill light back on, but I am not keeping it here. I'm actually moving it around diagonally to me and I'm facing the lights at each other with myself, the subject, in the middle. This is cross lighting. And the, what this does is it has the key light like normal. This is just in a Rembrandt position. But this light is acting half as a fill light on this side of my face and half as a kicker light on the back of my head to provide separation. This is one of my favorite two light setups to use for photography or video. And I think it's a great balance between key and fill and key and kicker. For our last two light setups, our fifth one, I'm going to have my assistant come in here and he's actually going to hold the key light directly above my head and I'm going to move this fill light back to its normal position. Now what this does is this light above me actually acts as the key while this fills in light. As you can see, if I turn off the fill light, this still lights most of my face. Now if this is a key light and a fill light, why did we include this when we already had put a key and fill light? Well, for one thing, it can make for a very stylistic shot. Say, for example, you're filming a short film and you want an indoor scene, but you don't want to use the indoor lights because they look nasty and they aren't color accurate. Well, something like an overhead light like this, especially if it's something like a flexible LED panel, can work really, really well because it gives that indoor light aesthetic where the light is coming directly down but it doesn't actually use an indoor light. Well, hopefully these five setups helped you light your photos or videos. Thanks for watching. For our Firth, Firth can work really, really, 